Hello and welcome to another Hot Rods to Review. In this video, I'm going to continue my review of the manga, My Hero Academia Vigilantes. This arc is called the Stendhal arc and it was only three chapters long as it spans from chapters nine through 12. One thing that definitely shocked me was Stain's return, but his return to the series is not quite as shocking as that big red throbbing subscribe button, which adds my videos to your subscription feed and allows you to stay up to date with my reviews on this series. Now, without further ado, let's get into the review. Since this is a prequel series, I don't know if it's accurate to say that Stain has returned. Maybe I should say his origins were revealed since that would be more accurate, right? Either way, I thought it was really cool that we got to see some of Stain's origins get explained since he is one of my favorite villains in My Hero Academia. Right when Stendhal was introduced, I had my suspicions that he was actually Stain because his vigilanteism is very different compared to the protagonists. Koichi, Knuckle Duster, and Popstep just beat villains up and left them for the police. It was then up to the legal system to determine their fate, which is why one of the trigger villains was back on the streets. However, Steintal chose to act as judge, jury, and executioner by deciding the villain's fate. He killed that one rock villain in chapter 9, and he tried to kill the spiky villain later on. I had my suspicions here that Steinhall was Stain, but I wasn't too sure because he had a different style or MO. The Stain I know doesn't target villains, he targets those he believes to be fake heroes, hence why he is called the Hero Killer. In these chapters, it was clear that Stain saw himself as a hero, taking out those who were a menace to society, while in the main story, he acknowledged that he was a villain a villain who could only be taken out by a true hero like All Might. I was very confused as to why he would try to kill Koichi to get to the villain, since in the main series, he didn't fight his hardest against Deku since he saw that Deku had a chance to become a true hero. But here, he was willing to go through another hero candidate in order to kill a villain. I believe that this is because he saw himself as a hero that would do whatever it took to end villainy, rather than a villain who could only be stopped by a true hero. The moment he used his quirk, Blood Curdle, and showed his tongue, I knew for sure that it had to be Stain. These chapters are where we get to see his ideology start to take shape a bit, and I thought it was both cool and horrifying that he cut off his own nose just to show his own resolve to his ideals. I always assumed that he had just been born without a nose, since we have seen mutations in people that have nothing to do with their quirks. The fight between Knuckle Duster and Stendhal was definitely a highlight for this arc. It became very clear that Knuckle Duster is the All Might of this series, as he always swoops in to save the day like All Might. He even has the same catchphrase, I am here. I love seeing his fights because he is always so brutal. He literally punched Steintol so hard that he not only shattered his mask, but his entire nose. And he did it in such a stylish way as well with the threat of crossing the line. If this series can keep delivering on action like this or even better, then it will definitely keep me invested. Overall, I guess you can say that I really enjoyed this arc. It was short and this review will also probably be really short as well, but it didn't feel too rushed or anything. It was a solid arc that allowed me to revisit one of my favorite characters again. Not only that, but it helped me to realize that there is a bad side to vigilanteism. The way I see it, the heroes are good while the villains are bad. It was very black and white, but the vigilantes all exist in a gray area. Even the good ones, like Knuckle Duster, leaves his opponent in brutal shape. And the more bad ones, like Stendhal, are very close to crossing the line to villainy. I just love how balanced these perspectives are, and I hope we get more of that in the future. I also hope to see more of Stain. I know we probably won't since he does have an important role to fulfill in the main story, but I definitely think that it would be cool for the vigilantes to run into him again. I guess the only way to find out more information is to keep on reading. If you like this video, consider watching another one. I cover a variety of different topics on this channel, so I hope to see you there. This has been the Hot Rodster. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.